This is the Scottish National Party, founded in 1934 as a merger between the National Party of Scotland and the Scottish Party. This leading to first joint leaders being Cunningham Graham, a Scottish socialist, and James Graham, the sixth Duke of Montrose, former conservative and the inventor of an aircraft carrier. At the start of the Second World War, the party would fall into turmoil as a number of its members were pro-Nazi. The SD, or Nazi intelligence, would make a number of overtures before the war to leader Andrew Duer Gibb, who said that Nazi ideology was a bulwark against Soviet socialism and routinely quoted Hitler in his speeches. He would go on to back Churchill in the war, but also said he didn't care who won. The next leader wouldn't do any better, William Powell, saying overthrowing Hitler was illegitimate in 1940. Somehow getting worse when Douglas Young would become leader of the party in 1942, who would be arrested for refusing conscription and encouraging other Scots to do the same. This was par for the course among most of the SNP at the time, with other pro-Nazi members such as Arthur Donaldson and Hugh McDimmitt. Arthur Donaldson stated that he would create a Scottish collaboration government, and he would have a significant role in trying to form an alliance between the SNP and the Nazi party. He would go on to be elected the SNP leader from 1960 to 1969 and would remain prominent within SNP politics until his death in 1993. The party would regain its decency and some prominence in 1970 under William Watt, British Social Democrat, gaining its first seat in 1970 and then winning 11 seats in the 1974 election, being the deciding vote on Margaret Thatcher's motion of no confidence against James Callaghan. The party would fall to infighting in the 1980s, however, when Sean Nan Gale would split from the main party. The neo-fascist Scottish supremacist movement, their departure would be the dying breath of the party's formerly fascist past. However, they would be brought back into the independence movement under the SNP's All Under One Banner demonstrations, with SNP, MSP, Evelyn Tweed marching behind one of their banners. The 1990s would be defined by Alex Salmon, who would heal the party divisions and refocus the party in opposing the Liberal Democrats, and then the Labour Party into 2007. Achieving 49 seats, Alex Salmon would become the first minister of Scotland, and will begin to set out the case for independence. All of this coming to a head with the 2014 Scottish independence referendum. 80 years of SNP work all had come down to this. And so on the 18th of September, the Scottish people would vote, voting no with a majority of 380,000 votes, this leading to a number of resignations, culminating in Nicola Sturgeon, who would lead the party going forward. In doing this, she would lead the party to electoral dominance, and repeatedly making the claim that this showed that Scottish people still wanted independence. But these claims falling on deaf ears as the British Tory party was too busy dealing with Brexit to care. Sturgeon's resignation in 2023 and a number of investigations into their finances, it's up to Humza Yusuf to try and steady the ship. This has been another Politics Chalkboard video. If you've enjoyed, consider giving it a like, maybe even subscribe, and possibly come back for more.